Hi everyone, I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local-only Plano newscast. This week, we start with our plans to celebrate Independence Day and Plano's 150th birthday. It's almost time for our annual July 4th extravaganza, the All-American 4th. The parade, organized by Plano Rotary Clubs, starts at 7.30 down a stretch of Spring Creek Parkway. Fireworks start at 9.30 p.m. We're also going to re-celebrate Plano's sesquicentennial. Due to safety concerns regarding the weather, we had to close down the June 3rd event early. So to give the City of Excellence a proper celebration, why don't we do it again? We'll have a twofer of celebrations on Independence Day. Make plans now to attend the All-American 4th and Plano's biggest ever birthday party. See you on the 4th. How would you like to take part in the world's largest swimming lesson? On June 22nd, we're holding a fun-filled event where every participant will receive a free lesson and certificate and be part of the Guinness World Record for the largest swimming lesson. It'll take place at 1215 at the Oak Point Recreation Center Outdoor Pool located at 6000 Jupiter Road here in Plano. No registration is necessary. The American Academy of Pediatrics shows risk of drowning can be reduced by 88% if children participate in formal swimming lessons between the ages of one and four. Yet more than half of Americans either can't swim or don't have the necessary basic swimming skills. Plano Parks and Recreation summer camps kicked off this week at our recreation centers and parks. Here's a look at our well-trained staff who will work at those summer camps. Camp Connections are held at Carpenter Park, Tom Muhlenbeck, and Liberty Recreation Centers. Camp Cimarron is at Bob Woodruff Park South, and our sports and adventure and teen outreach camps are at Oak Point Recreation Center. The U.S. Green Building Council announced that the city of Plano is among 13 cities nationwide who have been selected to participate in the 2023 Lead for Cities Local Government Leadership Program. Lead for Cities will afford the city an opportunity to document and celebrate the many successes of the city that support the pillars of sustainability, people, environment, and economy, and identify areas for growth where the work of sustainability can be taken forward. We will be certified either as a silver, gold, or platinum city, depending on the amount of points earned based on our accomplishments. Juneteenth will be celebrated in Plano on June 17th with a variety of events. The City of Plano's Juneteenth Day Parade will start at 2 p.m on the corner of Avenue I and 13th Street and finish at the Boys and Girls Club on Avenue G. Participating are a number of local leaders of the African American community in Plano, City of Plano officials, dancers, and antique cars. Juneteenth is the oldest nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there, and you can always go to our website, Plano.gov. We'll see you next week. Hi, Plano. Steve Stoller here. If you found this video interesting, be sure to subscribe by clicking here. This is Plano's official YouTube channel, and subscribing keeps you up to date. If you're interested in learning more about Plano, click here to watch more news from the city.